everyone. Welcome back to No BS Eateries. Hi everyone. Got my mask. <laughs> We're outside of Momiji, which is a sushi grill and bar out in Tavares, Florida. We're in Tavares, right? Um, well, some people say it's Sorrento. Some people oh. say it's Eustace. Sorrento. But yeah, I would say Sorrento. Sorry, not Tavares. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna go inside. I don't really do sushi, so we'll see what I'm gonna eat. And Brian loves sushi, it's his favorite, so. Yeah, we've eaten here before, we like it. Um, they do serve hibachi as well, um, as well as other grilled foods and Japanese cooked foods as well. It's not all sushi, but I come here for the sushi, so it's delicious. But anyways, um, we'll let you know how it goes. So we started off with some drinks. I have a Christmas special. It's the mistletoe mojito. Um, I believe it's got regular mojito stuff and some cranberry, but it looks so cute with a little decoration. And Brian got the Japanese margarita. Yeah, it has tequila, Midori. And so basically, it's a Midori um, margarita. So, or, yeah, margarita. So I'll let you know how it tastes, but it looks really good. They got this green sugar on here. Let's be real, Brian was just reading off the menu and he failed. So <laughs> he can never make fun of me again and I just kicked the table, sorry about that. <laughs> We're gonna taste them real fast. You wanna taste yours first, Brian? Sure. It's very good. Is it sweet? It is uh, kind of sour, a little sweet. Uh, so I like the combination of the two. And it does, it tastes like a, like a majority margarita. It, it tastes exactly what you would think it would taste like. You get the flavor of the melon and the tequila together. Very good, very light. And now for the mistletoe mojito. It's really good. It's not too sweet. I think it is cranberry inside. Maybe we'll have to check out the special board. Um, yeah, there's a Facebook video of them making it, but it's like in fast motion, so you can't see everything they're putting on it. But those are our drinks. All right, we have our first appetizer. It's spicy garlic edamame. We have another one coming, and it is mango shrimp. So we'll show that one as soon as we get it. Spicy. It is. Garlic. Yeah. You can taste, taste the red chili in it. It's very good. Not a lot of salt on it. Like normal edamame usually comes with a bunch of salt on the outside. So I kind of like that. Um, and not too spicy. So good combination. Here is the mango shrimp. It's fried tempura shrimp with mango um, and some sort of sauce on top. I assume it's probably a mango sauce. <laughs> yep, it says mango sauce on the menu. Since we read off the menu. I read well off the menu. You failed. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try the edamame. So stuff, what did you think? It's good, I really like it. I think it's got enough salt on it. Yeah, but it's not like Usually it's like salty. coated. Yeah, yeah, usually the shell is coated with salt, and this one's not. Yeah. So it is a lot better. Um, the owner actually recommended we try it, so we did. And then I'm gonna try the mango shrimp here. Mm. That's very sweet, um, especially with the mango sauce. Kind of, the mango sauce is rich. Too sweet. Mm -hmm. Try that piece right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it'd be nice with a little bit of dipping sauce with this. Mm -hmm. No, um, dipping sauce, the mango sauce with it. Did you stop it? No. Oh. <laughs> We're trying something new. Um, yeah, it is really good. If you don't know me, I don't really like seafood at all. Um, or mango. True. I mean, but she does like fried shrimp. I do. I've learned. I've grown. My moment is to be proud. Um, but it, it is really good. 
With my hibachi, we get a we get a salad with the ginger dressing and the clear soup. And with Brian's sushi, he gets a miso soup. Miso. He's so hungry. <laughs> Just to review the soup and salad real fast, um, I've got the traditional clear soup, which is kind of like a onion soup, I guess. And it's good, as always. And it's really hot, I just burned them out. <laughs> and I'm gonna try the miso soup. Watch out, it's hot. It's good. It's miso soup. So, um, usually when I go to a Japanese restaurant, um, miso soup tastes very similar, but I don't think I've ever had a bad miso soup, and I don't ever think I can say I had one that really stood out. Um, but I've never tried anything like besides regular miso soup. Yeah, it's good. Just real quick, just to review everything. You might want to speak up. I don't know. They can hear you. <laughs> I'll review my salad. <laughs> Really good. I love ginger sauce or ginger dressing. Um, theirs has like a citrusy taste to it as well. Pretty standard. All right, Brian's meal just came. We got the uh, sushi combo, sashimi combo. Sushi sashimi combo. And it looks like it's his birthday. <laughs> In case you didn't know. See the lights? Yeah. Happy birthday. It's not his birthday. I think there's something special in the middle. <laughs> so my comment was that this does not look pleasant. And what did you say, Brian? Uh, I said that people who eat sushi knows what that is. That Tell is it to the people. Uni shooter. Um, I love uni. And I've had uni shooters before. I actually prefer the uni by itself. But um, I do like the presentation. And yeah, let you know how it tastes. Guess what? It's also my birthday. <laughs> I got the hibachi um, with steak and chicken, and it comes with rice, vegetables, and noodles. And an orchid because I'm so pretty. <laughs> Brian got one too because he's also so pretty. All right, we'll taste it and let you guys know. All right, so here's the uni shooter. Looks like a brain with the baby quail egg in there, her yolk in there. There it goes. That's delicious. Thank you. You're good. Fine. We just gotta refill our water. But um, yeah, it's sake with uni, which I love. Um, quail egg, delicious. I mean, if you're not about texture, you know, texture's a thing for you. Um, it doesn't matter to me. So I, I love it. The flavors are so good. It's like very like I call it a caramel flavor. If you really just let the uni kind of you know, sit on your tongue a little bit before you swallow it. Very good combination. It's one of the best food you should, I think I've ever had. Okay, so we just tried to do a take. We did a whole video that wasn't recorded. Got four seconds. Live and learn. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do it again, but I'm gonna take a bite of my steak first. I'm gonna show you my white sauce. Okay. And it's, it's a big bowl of white sauce. It's delicious. I was not going to say that. Okay. And here's the steak. Perfectly. Um, teriyaki sauce. It's Iowa like steak medium and perfect. And I'm gonna try the spicy tuna roll. Um, Stephanie was telling a story about the first time we went to a sushi restaurant on a date. So we went to a sushi place and um, Brian had me try some. I want to say it was just salmon, tuna, I don't know. And he put it in his soy sauce, which he likes extra spicy, so he puts a lot of wasabi in it, and my mouth was tingling, and I could barely eat it. But anything to impress somebody, I guess. And it works, because here we are. But, um, yeah, the wasabi should really, for me, 
It should tickle your nose a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. And I just tried the uh, spicy tuna roll, very good, delicious. Um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I've tried a lot of sushi before. I've tried um, spicy tuna rolls many times, and they're always good. Like, I, I don't, I've never disliked them. I've never had a bad one. And um, I'm gonna to try the fatty tuna here, and I think it's called Escalar, but um, try this. And this is my favorite sushi of all. Like, I hadn't tried it for a long, long time. I always got regular tuna. And once I tried this, oh my gosh. But when you get the combo, you don't know what you're gonna get. Um, it's whatever the chef says, so. And what's your favorite uh, tuna? I mean, what's your favorite tuna? <laughs> favorite sushi? That was my favorite sushi. The Escalar is my favorite. Um, tuna is always good, it's regular, um, and the salmon, of course, and then, you know, they've got some other cuts on here, I don't know what they are, but I'll try anything, I love all the sushi, I, there's very few things I won't eat or like. And I just tried the chicken, it's also delicious, um, really good, really tasty, Um, so this is Ling, uh, her and her husband Eric run this place, and we just love it. It's one of our favorite restaurants. So, here's Ling. Hi everybody, thank you for your support. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so it's Momiji um, Restaurant in Sorrento on 44. Okay, so here's the restaurant that we have. This is Momiji, this is the inside. They've got it all decorated nice and nice here. And here we go, here's the sushi bar. And here's Eric. Eric's one of the owners. Hi, Eric. <laughs> so there we go. You can see the wonderful decorations they have on the walls. It's beautiful. So, okay, everybody. So here we are. We finished. You can see the nice, lovely decorations they've got outside. Um, I, I love this place. Um, in all honesty, I helped them with their lease, um, helped them with their build out. And uh, they've been here for a couple years now. And uh, just, I, I love the food. It's one of my favorite sushi places um, in all of Orlando. And I like it too. I mean, I had nothing to do with anything, but uh, <laughs> I do enjoy eating here. Um, great service. Ling and Eric are nice people and they take the time to speak to everyone. And Ling especially, she's out there um, helping serve everyone and she'll sit and talk to you forever. Um, yeah. Yeah, and they're super nice people. Um, here we got a truck backing up here. See, right this is why next I stood up us. here. So, He's coming this way, babe. I don't know. Okay, I think that was a little... Uh, Brian almost got run over. <laughs> Central Florida humor there. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, the food is delicious. The sushi is always great, nice and fresh. Nice, good, thick pieces, um, cuts, and just uh, wonderful food. Um, what did you think of your hibachi? It was really good. Um, we have plenty of leftovers because we don't typically order appetizers when we come here. Um, and so we filled up on those a little bit, but Brian ate all his sushi because, you know. Um, but we have plenty of leftover for lunch tomorrow and um, it's delicious as always. Yeah, so Momiji's in Sorrento, as I mentioned before. It's on 44 in Plymouth Sorrento. Um, it's about a 15 minute drive from Mount Dora. Um, and it's always busy every weekend uh, they're busy uh, it does get a little bit slow during the um, summer months but that's normal because we have a lot of snowbirds here um, but yeah so uh, you know if you like this like to see more please give us some, some suggestions and make sure to like and subscribe um, comment with any suggestions also I did um, start an Instagram page which I will plan to hopefully put on just even pictures of our normal going out to eat and maybe even Brian's creations because sometimes he makes some pretty good delicious food and when I say sometimes I mean a lot of times and we're gonna get run over again but um, I'll put the uh, the Instagram tag I believe it's no BS eateries but I just want to make sure um, before I say that for sure yeah so there's our review no BS <laughs> all right guys take care bye and Merry Christmas to you all